This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're here in my basement today taking a look at a, uh, an interesting iPhone application that has a lot of practical purposes. Uh, the app in question is called Easy, Easy Measure, uh, and it's available for free in the App Store. We're going to talk more about the uh, free aspect of that in just a second, but uh, why are we in my basement is a good question. And the answer is pretty simple. Uh, this app is designed to measure things. Uh, so with that in mind, we kind of had to go find something to measure, and we are kind of shirking the usual darkroom-style video that we like to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this in inches, because we have a guess that uh, most of our viewers are probably Americans and don't like centimeters like we should. So anyway, the idea here is that uh, you take your iPhone, and then uh, by just simply setting the lens height, and I'm not really, sure, not really sure how high off the ground I am right now, so... Uh, you know, this might not be the best in terms of uh, approximate measurements, but I will still show you the application. Uh, by simply setting the lens height, and that is how high off the ground your iPhone is, you can simply uh, point the uh, little rectangle here at, um, you say, any object that you're trying to measure, like this box that I've got in front of me, and then you can get an accurate distance measurement. You see I've got 145 inches. I'm not really sure how accurate that is, but again, this works a lot better when you're actually at a better, uh, more accurate lens height, so not really sure there. If you want to get rid of these lines, you can at any point in time by simply hitting this, and they go away, and then you've just got the box. So if you prefer this kind of more fluid interface, you do have that option. Likewise, you can turn on the torch on your phone if you want to hit the uh, little light bulb there. Uh, mine doesn't have that, so it doesn't work, but if you want to turn it on, it is there. You can also take a photo of anything that's on screen uh, to save as a reference. So that if you're on the job site, say at a construction unit, uh, you know this is a great way to do this. And there's also a tiny little uh, margin of error given at the top. I've got an accuracy of 5 inches, which isn't bad, actually. And on that note, the approximations that this app provides are actually you know, relatively pretty good. We tried this on a couple of things that we'd recently measured, like new furniture. And uh, it works out pretty well, you know, uh, typically if you get the lens height right, you can get it within an inch. It is still an approximation, though, so it is not an exact measurement, but at the same time as an approximation, it's not bad at all. You know, a, a margin of error of an inch for uh, something like this is actually quite fantastic. But the way this works is you simply point this at the base of the object, like my box, and then you slide these until you've got a, an accurate... Uh, it's hard to do with this finger, actually. Let me see if I can do it with the other. Uh, they are much better. You uh, point this at the base and then slide until you have approximately uh, the dimensions of the box. There you've got 27 inches by 22 inches is the, uh, you know, the app's guess. And again, there's a margin of error of about 5 inches. And also my lens height isn't quite correct because I'm not really sure how high off the ground I am resting this on this table. Uh, so once you've done that, you know, you've used these uh, very simple intuitive crop tools. You've got a basic approximation. You can snap a photo, write it down, do whatever you need to do, and then move on with your life. This obviously replaces, say, a tape measure or any other sort of uh, outdated uh, measuring utility, uh, which is a fantastic way to do this. We really did appreciate the application, and uh, like we said, on the, on, the, on the most part, it does work very well. We were impressed with how accurate these approximations were. At the same time, we do have quite a few complaints with the app. For instance, you are limited to both centimeters and inches, which is a bit of a drag. If you don't have, uh, you know, if you have something larger, like you want to measure, say, a sailboat while you're out on the ocean, as shown in one of the pictures in the app store, uh, you might want uh, meters, yards, or even feet. Uh, you can do this in your head, obviously, uh, you know, 12 inches to a foot. You have to do a little bit of math, uh, but at the same time, we would have liked to have seen this expanded to, say, larger objects. Uh, aside from that, you know, we were uh, pretty impressed with it. Uh, we did think the approximations can maybe be a little bit better because obviously if you are relying this on the job site, you're going to need an even more accurate measurement to actually do anything in terms of construction, so you are going to actually have to go measure it yourself. But in terms of just grabbing a very quick and intuitive, uh, you know, snapshot, it's really not bad. On that note, this application is free, but to get these tools that we've got, you know, the uh, width and height, you are going to have to fork out another 99 cents. That being said, a dollar is not much to pay for an application that uh, is this functional. Uh, so with that in mind, you know, it is quite a bargain at only a dollar. Then again, we would have rather have just paid that on the front end instead of doing the uh, in-app purchase. Uh, but then uh, without that, as a free app, you do get the distance measurement, which works quite well. Actually, much better than the uh, width and height, although these both work quite, uh, quite fantastically. So at the end of the day, Easy Measure gets a 3.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. And that's pretty much all we have to say about it. So at this point, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And if I can encourage you to go ahead and check out all the other YouTube videos that are on our YouTube channel, that'd be awesome. If you want to hear my voice and see some awesome apps, that is the place to go. Likewise, you can go to the iPhoneAppReview.com to see heaps of our written reviews as well. And that's all we have to say, so we're going to go ahead and sign out. But we'll see you guys later. Bye.